Welcome back. Today was a busy day for, well, now former Gonzaga basketball players because there are a lot of moving parts right now within this program. We're going to get into where everyone stands on this team in terms of the NBA draft. Andrew Nimhard and Chad Holmgren both announced that they, today that they are heading for the NBA and they will definitely go. Nimhard literally cannot return to school because this is his third time putting his name in the draft. The rule is you can't come back to school after putting your name in three times. So that's that. Now, not that he would want to come back anyways. Nimhard's achieved a lot in his career and other than win a national championship, he didn't have much else to achieve at Gonzaga. There also isn't any NIL money for him at GU, not because he isn't marketable. It's just not really his speed. I do not believe he signed a single NIL deal this season. For Chet, it's also obvious he's gone. He's a top three draft pick and he would gain nothing by returning to GU next year. If you're a fan, you knew when Chet committed that he was only going to be here for one year. So yeah, neither of these announcements were shocking today. Let's go to Timmy and Strother, who also have both announced over the last month that they're putting their names into the draft. This one is a little more tricky because even though you announce for the draft, that doesn't mean that you can't withdraw from it. If Timmy or Strother decide to come back to school, they have until June 1st at 8.59 p.m. to make that announcement. First of all, with Julian, I'd be shocked if he didn't come back. He's not on draft boards anywhere, and he is most likely just trying to get feedback from scouts. He'll be a focal point for Gonzaga next year and could very likely turn himself into a first-round pick. He has much more to gain returning, and he'll have more NIL deals next year. Timmy's more 50-50, but he has way more guaranteed money playing in college next year right now. How do I know this? Well, it was reported yesterday that Kentucky's Oscar Shibwe, who elected to return to school, will make in the range of $2 million in NIL deals next season. If Oscar can do that, Timmy can at least do half of that. Meanwhile, it's not a sure thing he gets drafted right now. Even if he does, he'll definitely be a second-round pick. And those contracts are not fully guaranteed. He has a fascinating, fascinating decision on his hands for sure. And that leaves us with one last Gonzaga player. We are waiting on Razier Bolton. Bolton has another year of eligibility due to COVID, so he could use that to come back. However, if he did come back, I would imagine there would be a ripple effect and another guard or two that's down the roster would end up transferring. It would be quite a balancing act for the Gonzaga staff if he were to return. Bolton will not get drafted, but if he decides to go, he will most likely put his name into the draft to at least get that experience and see if he could get a team to fall in love with him. If Bolton decides to declare for the NBA draft, he has until Sunday at 8.59 p.m to do it. So we're just we're just waiting right now. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Holding pattern. Huh? Yes, yeah, definitely. And by the way, I was going to say something about that. Uh, it's been kind of a bizarre off season for Gonzaga. Yeah. No players have gone into the transfer portal and the staff hasn't landed anybody from the transfer portal yet. And one of the reasons why is because there's obviously so many questions mm -hmm. about what this roster looks like next year. And that's holding everything up currently.